Greetings, everybody. Let's get this thing started. Panda here, and today I was actually just about to start working on a different video, and I realized that I've been sitting at Prestige 2, level 35, for like over a month now. So I figured what better time than now than to share this with you guys and see where I'm at and take a look at this Prestige. I really like the icon of the Prestige. That's part of the reason also that I've kept it. It was one of my favorites. Um, when you look at it, you know, it's got a little bear on it, um, but it's pretty sweet. Anyway, here, let's see. Prestige 2, level 35, 46,000 kills, 2,100 rounds survived. 161,000 is my average game score. Looking at the headshots, we got 9,600. Average rounds per game is 10. Wow, I gotta say that's lower than I thought it was gonna be. Um, but I guess when I think about it, I do die almost every single time I get in front of that first dragon on Darius and Draka. And that's probably on level 3, so that doesn't really help out my average. Um, but anyway, score per minute is 31. Alright, so not too bad. I'm gonna take a screenshot of this. I'm gonna save it, and I'm definitely gonna go and try to crush it, crush this score, beat this, improve. Because I always say, you know, you don't have to be the best at something as long as you are pushing yourself to be better every single day then you're doing everything that you can. So that's what we're gonna do, screenshot it, and we'll come back to this when I'm at Prestige 3, level 35. Now, let's take a look at Prestige Mode. Um, if you guys aren't familiar, here's a little bit about Prestige Mode. Uh, start over at level one. Having gained a bit of Prestige, you will keep all progress made towards weapon cosmetics. So what that means is if you've been working on upgrading your KN, um, you're not gonna lose that progress. If you've unlocked the first three attachments and the first three camos, you will still have those when you get to that gun. But the thing is, is that you have to reach whatever level that it takes for you to unlock being able to customize and upgrade that KN. So, no, you don't lose your progress, but yes, you do have to wait to unlock it unless you use one of these, and that's the permanent unlock. So the reward for entering a prestige is that you get to permanently unlock one weapon. Meaning that you do not have to wait to that particular level to get that gun and to have all of its attachments and camos off the bat forever and forever and forever. Unless you do a fresh start, you will always, always have access to that gun customized. All right, let's take a look and see. I didn't even realize you could do a gobble gum. Hmm. Because there is alchemical antithesis. Uh... Let's see what the options are here. As much as I'm tempted, I gotta say I don't really use the gobble gums as much as I could. Let's let's go ahead. Let's do a weapon. What did I do last time? I kept the HVK. Okay, so let's let's do the haymaker. So if you guys don't know, the haymaker is actually the very, 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 very last gun that you could get to unlock and customize it. I think it's at like level 33. Um, so usually by the time you unlock it, you're, it's right locked up again if you immediately enter that prestige. So we're going to go ahead and unlock, permanently unlock this haymaker here. Here we go. Yes, let's permanently unlock it. Boom. Alrighty, so there we go. Haymaker will always be upgraded. It will always have its attachments. We'll always be able to use it. But on that note, I'm out of here. I'm actually going to jump right back into creating and editing the video that I was working on before I stopped to make this one for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed and that you have a great, great rest of your day. I'm sending you good vibes. Be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time. Panda, out.